what's going on everybody welcome back to another ps3 homebrew video and today we're going to be focusing on how to wirelessly connect our ps3 to our pc and we're going to be using an ftp client to seamlessly transfer files to our ps3 and it works phenomenal and the only thing that you do have to have is multi-man installed if you don't have multi-man installed i do have a full video guide on how to install it it's fairly easy to do you just have to download the pkg file uh, install it through your ps3 and you're up and running uh, and also you do have to be on the same network as your pc is on so whatever wi-fi connection you got going on uh, just use that same Wi-Fi connection and you should be good to go. So under settings through your network settings, make sure you do have your internet connection enabled because you will need that in order for you to use the FTP client. Uh, now, before you do that, make sure that you don't have your auto sign-in enabled. Make sure that this is disabled. You can see there. Uh, and I got a little message saying to disable syscall, so... It's just a little uh, feature when it comes to having custom firmware on your system, which is great. But, uh, yeah, make sure you're on the same network and you have Multiman fully installed. And now let's run Multiman so we can go through the quick setup. And it's fairly easy to do this. And uh, it's one of the best ways to transfer files and games over to your PS3 instead of instead of constantly, you know, transferring through your USB uh, stick and going that route. But uh, now we have the option to do this here. So when you're a multi-man, this should be the default setup. And under settings, what we want to do is go under the FTP uh option so it's one let's see one two three four the fourth option down under settings so hit x and looks like i'm gonna have to move my my camera here a little bit so press x and go down to enable no time out perfect and make sure that you jot down your ps3's ip address so mine is 10.0.0.5 one now we're going to go to our desktop and i like to use filezilla it works great no problem let's close that and i already have it connected so i'll just hit this under quick connect i will get my magnifier out here so you can see there we go so under host this is where you're going to put in your uh, PS3's IP address, so mine was 10.0.0.51. And you don't have to worry about username, password, report, or anything like that. Uh, if you don't have an FTP client, you can use FileZilla. I'll have a link to this program in the description down below. But you just hit the quick connect, and you'll see here up in this, uh, this little uh, window, that will show you the connection has been established waiting for a welcome message and it says directory listing of successful we're good to go now you will see on this side of the FTP client the folders of your ps3 so we have six directories very nice and on this side is our PC so this will show us all of our folders our files and all of the partitions uh, on our pc as far as copying files over you want to use the dev underscore hdd0 this is where your main folders are going to be located uh, let me move this so you guys have a better look there we go but yeah, you'll see uh, PS2 ISO, PS3 ISO, PSP ISO, PSX ISO, ROMs. All this should be set up by default once you have Multiman up and running. And you have your packages folder. This is where I throw my packages. And this is uh, a good example to get started with. Now you can go through this option. Find uh, wherever you know your downloads or whatever folder you have your your files that you're trying to transfer over to 
the PS3. And what you can do is just double click on the file that you're trying to transfer over. And there it is. So I just copy the minis launcher.pkg right there. Or you can just simply grab the remasters, for example, remasters launcher PKG and drag it into here. And you'll see like a green bar going down at the bottom showing you the status or how long it's going to take to copy some of the files over. It shouldn't take too long, not unless it's like a huge file, right? Some of these games are pretty, pretty crazy large when it comes to like the PS3 games. But yeah. Uh, directory listing dev and sometimes you will lose connection if your ps3 goes to sleep so let's check it out yeah my ps3 went to sleep so you will lose your connection i uh, just gotta wake it up let's go back to our desktop and you will have to quick connect this is one of the features i like about filezilla is that it will show you the history of all the stuff you've connected and this one i know for a fact that this is a ps3 and once i hit the quick connect it will log in successfully and we're back on the home page here so yeah it's fairly simple and easy to start transferring your files copying over whatever you need to flawlessly easily and you don't even have to mess with the uh, USB dongle which is kind of a, a nuisance in my opinion but yeah this is the best way to do it and I hope you found this video helpful Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Any questions whatsoever, please comment down below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video and streams coming up very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.